Hi guys, welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. How are you all doing today? Well, today, as you might notice, I'm coming from a different location. My lighting is not all that, but it's good enough. So we are going to get the show on the way. Now, our topic is when and how to use to start using anti-aging products. Now, this is a question I get a lot. Since I tend to make a lot of videos on how to use anti-aging products, anti-aging, anti-aging, anti-aging. Now, some people are very confused at what time or how to use anti-aging stuff. So I'm going to go through a lineup of the different age groups and when and what you need to add as an anti-aging product to your skincare routine. Okay. So welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. If this is your first time joining us, a warm welcome to you. Now, if you're watching Sunday's chit chat and you have not yet subscribed look below you're going to see the word subscribe just click on it and you will be subscribed also at the side there's a little bell and this goes for all of my subscribers if you have not yet it and that little bell just click on it so that each time I upload a video you will get a notification right away also I do have a website and it is chichibeauty.com um, you could visit my website and join and I I also have a blog channel. It's not a lot of videos on it as yet, but we're trying to get it up and running, and that is Chichi Beauty Blog. Okay, so join those two. We have our Facebook and our Facebook um, club. You can go over there and you could join the club, and you could also join my Facebook page or like my Facebook page. We do post videos and we do have a more of a one on one on Facebook. So Follow me on Facebook. You could follow me on Instagram also, and you could follow me on Snapchat, and that's where you get to see a little more of what goes on behind the scene, a little more of my life, all right? So let me do some shout out, and then we're gonna go straight into the anti-aging topic. Now, we have so much to talk about anti-aging skincare product, but I'm gonna just chop it up since we only have half an hour. And you gotta listen carefully. Now for the age group that follow me, I noticed that is about 25 to 65, like the most. So I'm gonna really break it down by step, 20, 30, 40, and give you a fair idea of how and when and what to use on your skin. Now for some shout out before we get on, and I'm I'm going to scroll way back to those people that came on very very early sandra f hello happy sunday new york that's the first time i'm seeing this person on and i have ibats under my eyes there's not too bad but i do not like them help and i just post a video this week on ibats and that is actually a wonderful 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 treatment to get rid of ibats wrinkles and fine lines and also dark under eye circles now guys Guys, if you have not seen that video, go and watch that video because it is amazing. That's what I am using under my under eyes. And this is one that I'm going to recommend for you all. Just give it a try, make it try it and come back and comment because you're basically going to see instant result with that eye bag treatment. Really, really good. Just make sure to have all the ingredients. Rita, and this is Rita Shaparasti, I think. You did a video with pomegranate for anti-aging and wrinkle. Can you please post it again? Unfortunately, we cannot repost. What you need to do is just type in um, chichi, um, anti, um, pomegranate chichi beauty and the video is going to come up. That's how you search. Whatever it is you want, put the name of what you're looking for with my name at the end of it in Google and the video is going to pop up. Whether you're on YouTube or you're just surf surfing the internet, okay? So find whatever you want. Let's say you're looking for something for eye bags. Just put eye bags, Chichi Beauty in Google and the video is going to pop up, all right? So go and search for the video because we're not allowed to repost stuff, all right? But that is actually very, very, very good. Hello, Karen. Karen McDowell. Um, happy Sunday. We have Stella White, Aichichi, and everyone on the chat. 
We also have um, Sake Jam. I started taking care of my skin since the age of 18. And after 25 years, I moved on to anti-aging natural treatment. Today, Dr. C. Sunny is known as the Chichi student. Thank you, dear, so much. And this is Dr. Sunny, guys, that we were talking about last week. Our screen name is S-A-K-E-T-J-A-I-N. That's the Dr. Sunny I was talking about. If you watch the show last week, you remember me talking about all the wonderful work that she have been doing over there in India. All right, anti-aging. I'm going to do some more shout out, guys, but we have to get on with the skincare treatment, anti-aging. Now, 20s. When you're in your 20s, for me personally, and I'm going to make it clear, I think you need to start to take care of your skin from day one. All right. As soon as you eat puberty, you're going to start having skin issues. And that is going to be acne. You're going to have a lot of oil on your skin, all of that sebum, all of that. You know, you see teenagers all the time with terrible, terribly acne. So all of that hormones that is, you know, coming into place. So from you turn your teen, you got to start taking care of your skin. However, in your teenage you ears, you do not need anti-aging products because your skin is already really nice, glowing, and just beautiful, except that you're going to get all these acne. In that case, you need to wash your face on a regular. You need to exfoliate to get rid of some of that dirt that is clogging the pores. So find a mild cleanser, clean your face, clean your face. It doesn't matter how old you are. You got to clean your face in your teens, wash your face at least twice per day, pot dry and if you have a light moisturizer you don't have to do pick and choose you don't have to read labels unless you do have acne just put a little moisturizer on your face a little oil just a, about you know they have so many products out there for teens just put a little stuff on your skin and you're good to go now however when you get into your 20s and that is when things is going to start to turn so i suggest that you start using anti-aging products as early as in your 20s. However, when you're in your 20s, you need just mild. You don't have to go all out. It's just a little moisturizer, believe it or not, regular old moisturizer to keep your skin soft and supple, which is already soft and supple. So in your 20s, wash your face, do a little exfoliating, and just use a regular moisturizer on your face, and you're good to go. That is actually starting the anti-aging process without going in depth, because you need to moisturize the skin, as I said, to keep it soft and supple. And that is in your 20s. You do not need a lot, but you do need to wash your face at least twice per day and you need to add a little moisturizer on your face. Also in your 20s, this is when you're going to start using a little bit of a sunscreen. We all know that in the 20s, you tend to be active, you're outside, you're running around still. So a little sunscreen is going to come into play in your 20s. So you could go in the store, you could buy a simple little product with a little bit of sunscreen in it in the 20s and use it on your skin to prevent you know uv rays and stuff like that so as early as in your 20s you're protecting yourself by a good moisturizer and sun sunscreen and that's basically all you need with clean skin you wash your face and you exfoliate your face at that time you also could try a lot of facial mask and stuff because that's the age when you're ex, um, exploring so you want to try some facial masks but it don't have to be anti-aging more lean towards a little vitamin c just play with a little thing right there vitamin c put it on your face and you're good to go you don't have to go in depth all right so let me go back to another shout out or another question and then we're going to talk about the good old 30s we have andrea Giad. hello chichi watching you from japan Japan. I hi Japanese. I just so 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 love Japan. All right, then we have um Oceani. This is O C A. You have a little iPhone over it, so I'm thinking that's French. So my pronunciation, I'm sure, is off. O C E A N N E, and this is D E B O R G I A. Hi, nice lady. Hello, welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. Abdul, Abdul, I B N Islam from Kenya. Welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. And what a smiley face is that you've given me. And then we have Rita. Hi, Rita. How is it going today? Happy Sunday. And we also have Elizabeth Lasoso. Hi, Chichi. And you are 
Um, oh, I just missed that. You for thank you for your tips, my dear. So helpful, and you are so welcome. We have Pearl Selman. Nit Nitrogena is very good moisturizer with sunscreen, and yes, that is actually very good, especially when you're in your 20s. You could play with all of that good stuff, and you could actually start using natural products like some of these vitamin C. In my earlier videos, I used to post a lot of light moisturizer a lot of light facial um quencher for the skin and all of that and i'm going to start to go back into doing that and actually listing the age group that this is actually good for so that you could you know be more comfortable when you're searching for things okay so now we're going to talk about the 30s now when we touch 30s that is actually the time when you're going to see the very first sign of aging, okay? So guess what? In your 30s, you are gonna now start to get into anti-aging products, okay? So what do you use at 30? You're gonna use a lot of vitamin C. You're gonna make sure to find a bit of an antioxidant in whatever you're using. So you're at the at the base of where you're going to start to read labels, a little bit of antioxidant, vitamin C, glycolic acid, those are the stuff you look for, and those are anti-aging ingredients. So when you go out and you see a product, it might say anti-aging, but it might not be suitable for your skin type. You got to know your skin type, and you got to know what is good for your skin at that age. And at Third, in the 30s, you definitely gonna start to see the first sign of aging. So you're gonna make vitamin C your best friend. Vitamin C, vitamin C, vitamin C. A little bit of an antioxidant is gonna be great for your skin. Glycolic acid, hyaluronic acid, those are the ingredients that you're gonna look for when you're in your 30s because those are what is gonna take care of your skin and you definitely, definitely need your SPF also. So for 30s, anti-aging, a little bit of antioxidant, you don't have to go crazy. You just, you know, make sure to load up on your vitamin C. That is great, great, great. Now, when you catch into 40s, you're going to start to definitely see some wrinkles on your skin. You're going to start to get a lot more. Well, let's not talk about the eyes because that's a whole nother show, but you're definitely going to see a little bit of wrinkles on your skin. And guess what is going to start happening in the 40s? You're going to start noticing that you're having dry skin what is happening is things start slowing down believe it or not it's gonna start slowing down so this is when you are gonna truly start to search for anti-aging products in the full glory you're gonna look for serums you're gonna look for moisturizer and they're all gonna be like loaded with antioxidant antioxidant and guess what the one that i talk about a lot retinol now, fall is you don't have to go crazy with the retinol, but you do need it. You need a higher dose of antioxidant. So you're going to read the labels, okay? And you're going to make sure it's not just a little 2%, 3%. You're looking for antioxidant in the 40 and the 50% now because you're getting older. You need to fight those wrinkles and you still can use some vitamin C, all right? Because the vitamin C is going to brighten the skin and it's going to get rid of all of that dullness. So along with using all your anti-aging stuff, you're going to still use your vitamin C in the 40s. And let me check on my times because, okay, 15 minutes, I have time to talk more. All right, so let me go back and I'm going to you know, do some more shout out. And then we're going to talk about the good old fifties. And that's when things really, really, really going to start happening. Okay. All right. So we have Uda, E-U-D-A, Rose. I'm from Jamaica. What can I use for all around the eyes? Darkness. And I'm trying to avoid, avoid talking about eyes today, but the questions keep coming up. Now I just post a video this week on how to take care of all of that. So you're going to watch that as soon as the show is done. As soon as the show is done, you're going to go and you're going to watch that. Hi, Ralton. How are you? I hope you are doing well. All right. So 
we're going on and we have Rita is I'm coming into menopause Chichi, and my face keep wanting to break out no matter what I do what do you recommend and that is you tend to be getting some adult acne now what is causing the breaking out that is all the hormones and all of that going on so you're gonna try to take care of the inside and I'm gonna suggest that you drink a lot of water all right now the fact that you're breaking out you are having your pores getting clogged so you're gonna exfoliate your skin and don't go too hard on it to exfoliate at least twice per week make sure your skin is clean always make sure your skin is clean wash your face with a mild cleanser dab 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 and then you apply you are gonna go full blast you're at the stage where you're going full blast anti-aging products. You're gonna look for your retinol, and I post a lot. Rosehip oil is loaded with retinol. Get yourself the carrot seed oil that have a lot of retinol. And the new oil I recently introduced, which is the cacao oil, which have even more retinol than the rosehip oil is gonna be your best friend. You do not need to put a lot of stuff on your face. Once it is clean, you just had a, a facial oil or a serum, let that dry. And then if you dry skin also, you put your moisturizer over it. But the base for getting all these acne and stuff is to have your skin clean by exfoliating the skin. Now, Rita, orange is good for your skin, believe it or not, because it's not only going to brighten the skin, but it's going to get rid of all the grease. You also have grapefruit. You could use anything with grapefruit and orange and pomegranate, 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 pomegranate. I know a lot of people don't have pomegranate, but pomegranate is so great for the skin, especially in your 30s upward. Pomegranate can do wonders for your skin. Get your pomegranate, just squeeze the juice and just put a piece of a mask sheet in it, put it over your face for at least 30 minutes and you're good to go. Try to use a lot of those along with your anti-aging products, such as your vitamin, your retinol and your rose hip oil, your carrot oil and all of those good stuff with vitamin A. All right. So we are moving on. I hope I didn't skip anything. I mean the fifties. Okay. So the fifties full blast. You are searching now for anti-aging product. And what you're looking for is anti-aging products that actually said wrinkles and fine lines. How to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines. How to get rid of puffy eyes and eye bags. How to get glowing skin. How to boost collagen production. And the reason why we're boosting things now is because guess what? things stop working things is not working the face is not producing the amount of collagen and the last thing that your skin need to look plump and younger you're gonna find that all of these things it started dropping down and all of that believe it or not so you're going to go wrinkle fighting wrinkle fighting wrinkle fighting wrinkle fighting antioxidant retinol retinol full blast everything could have a little retinol in it at this time everything could be loaded with antioxidant at this time because you are trying to prevent we cannot roll it back but we can try to slow it down a bit so in your 50s you're fully into everything anti-aging and you definitely definitely still need to use your spf all right so 50s full blast serum you're gonna wash your face you're gonna be playing with a lot of facial mask and all of that um oh this facial mask is great for wrinkles and fine line oh put it on okay this facial mask is gonna brighten the skin put it on this facial mask is gonna plump the skin is gonna build boots the collagen production put it on this is when you go crazy all right this is when your countertop is loaded with stuff or if not your kitchen is filled with all the wonderful goodness that I use on my channel to give you that young, bright looking skin, that wrinkle free skin, that tight skin. And guess what, guys? We're moving on in the 60s. And when we get to the 60s, we already know that everything has fallen down, especially if you weren't using the stuff you should have been using in the 60s. So when you get in the 50s, things already fall apart. Things fall apart. That's actually one of my literature book at school. Anyway, so 
guess what we're trying to do now? We're trying to fix things, right? So we're going to be tightening and toning. We're going to be getting rid of soggy neck. Now you're going to understand where I'm going with this. So we're getting all that sagging skin. We're trying to lift. And that's when people start to do the Botox and all of these things. So if I'm posting something like, oh, use this facial mask because it's better than Botox, that's in the 60s and all of that. Now, don't get me wrong. In your 30s, your 40s, you can use all of this goodness because it's further going to make you look even more radiant. But I'm just saying that if you want to break things down, this is how you go. For me, I start to use things at a very, very young age because I was curious. And at the same time, I like to play with cosmetics, right? I like to play with anything skincare. I like makeup. I just like to try things. So regardless of what it is, I would be like, mm, yeah, skin, mm. I have a friend and she will always be like, you're the only person, the only friend that I know that actually buy these things and use them because I was just crazy about skincare. And in the end, I really think that it's paid off because my skin, uh, you know, I don't take care of it as I should sometime, but I think it's good. I think it's, it's really, really wonderful. And then I get into all these natural stuff and natural, 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 natural. Now, one thing, if you have been watching my channel for a long time, you know that I normally tell people my over my eyes and sometimes a little bit under, sometimes it's very, very dark. What started happening to me is that when I use like makeup, and yes, don't tell me not to wear makeup because I love makeup, all right? This used to burn my eyes, like the eyeshadow, depending on the ingredient, it would burn my eyes. And then my over my eyes would be like really, really dark and stuff like that. Believe it or not, your girl, Chichi Beauty, have sensitive skin. <laughs> Ah, some things just don't work. However, what I started to notice is that when I use the natural stuff, I didn't have the burn and I find my skin was looking much better using my own stuff chemical free, all right, and 90% alcohol free. So that is why I get fully into using all these wonderful natural stuff. Yes, somebody comment on one of my old videos, like, Two years or so ago, and was like, oh, don't listen to this woman because she go to Sephora and she buy all this expensive stuff. I never ever hid it on my channel that I was a product junkie before. That's something I never hide. I was like all in until I started to find that I'm having issues using some of these products. And then I started to read labels. And then I was like, if this have this chemical in it and it affect my skin, what about me making it for myself without the chemical? And that's how I get into all these natural stuff. And I have absolutely no regret. And now out there on the market, if you take a look around, you'll notice that a lot of cosmetic line now are coming out with things where they're trying to avoid all the chemicals and stuff. All right, guys. So let me go back to the board, give a few more shout outs because I don't don't want you guys kill me later and then we're going to talk about 60 and upward lisa burnett um why judy that's a conversation going on um pearl um create hydrating bar is okay somebody's advertising a bar very good i'm in my party and always get compliment and then we have joan pintard i have oily skin and i need help for oily skin use a lot of vitamin c on your skin and you're going to exfoliate your skin okay because the oil that you're producing is going to start to clog your pores. And when your pores start to clog, it's going to leave you with a lot of pimples and stuff like that. So you're going to use some vitamin C, fresh orange, as I was talking about, grapefruit, anything with glycolic acid is good for your eye oily skin. So you're going to cleanse your skin and you're going to use an oil that is very light, such as the grapeseed oil that is not going to clog your pores. Or whenever you're buying products out there, read the back and make sure that it's good for oily skin. All all right, then we have XD. Hello from Greece. I can admit I don't do so far nothing for my skin. Last three years. 
because past family ed see most my eyes look terrible tired and create wrinkles what okay see again it's all about anti-aging but yes it's a lot of question on the eyes and i did uh, quite a few videos on eye care and the last one i post i'm talking a lot about it because it is working wonders for me and i really and truly want you guys to go and try it okay so when you're done you're gonna go on my page click on my face it's gonna take you to my page and you're gonna see recently upload you're gonna see the thumbnail with two eyes one with the eye bag and one without and that's the video for all you on the chat today asking about how to take care of your under eyes you're gonna watch that video because i did go into details and explain to you guys how to go about taking care of your under eyes the eye bags and also wrinkle and that remedy once you have those ingredients it is really and truly a wonderful 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 remedy to try okay all right we have um oh um, Dr. Sunny, hibiscus are fresh hibiscus flowers when made into a paste applied with milk help in reducing wrinkles too. Am I right? Yes. And I actually was reading up on that recently. All right. Now I was searching for hibiscus and I can't find hibiscus. Mm. However, what I discovered is that they do have hibiscus tea in the form of tea bags. <laughs> okay, guys. So thank you for that, Dr. Sunny, because... I am going to try some of these tea bags. However, I'm going to still search. What happened is that if you like go to the flower shop and you try to buy hibiscus, they are sprayed with all kind of chemicals and stuff like that. So you really do not want to use that. However, for the tea bags going in your stomach, you know, it's going to be safe. So I'm going to do be extended experimenting with the hibiscus because i do hear that it is great for wrinkles also so i'm gonna try it so if you are somewhere and you have fresh hibiscus give it a try and come back and let me know if it do anything for you all right all right so um lisa i love brown sugar gray grain with tomato and vitamin e exfoliate follow with aloe vera grapeseed oil vitamin e so refreshing and those are all of my remedies i could see my count dropping because people realize that the time is up all right so let me talk about the 60s really really fast in the 60s you already have all of the, the sagging skin you are for some people though not for everyone because honestly i really don't start seeing much of a sagging on my skin as yet i do have like mm, i have to make these things so some people age gracefully so, because they do start in the 20s to take care of their skin while some people when they get to the 30s oh they do, 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 do. when they get up to 60s that's when they realize that oh my goodness having bags having this oh wrinkle blue 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 what can i do what can i do that way you're trying to fix things so because you're trying to fix things you still have to go all out you're gonna be doing a lot of things and everything that i talk about on my channel you're gonna do you're gonna use vitamin c you're gonna use retinol vitamin a carrot seed grows if all you're going to use sunscreen and guess what you in your 60s will have to make massaging your skin your favorite regardless of what you use you're going to massage your skin everyone needs to massage the skin however when you're in your 60s you're going to see a more a more um instant result all right now if you're in your 20s and you do your facial massages and all of that your skin is going to look good it's going to look plump and nice which is the way to go 20 30 40 50 60 all the way up however when you're in your 60s upward and you spend half an hour and you do your face and that's anti-aging also guys so try to understand all of these tips they are they all fall under that anti-aging umbrella 70s 80s upward you're gonna be just massaging massaging you're gonna take special attention in the way you apply your skincare products when you're applying things to your neck you're gonna be lifting and you're gonna be lifting your face you're gonna be doing all of that when you get to that age and the more often you do your facial massages along with using all your facial products is the younger and plumper your skin is going to be so that is my quick way of explaining to you guys how and when to start using your anti-aging products and i hope i did you know 
chop it up really fast and i hope you guys understand i think if i'm posting all of these wonderful goodness and how to take care of your skin we also need to learn a little more about why we're using these things on the skin which is important so that is the reason why i'm making more of these videos and let me know in the comment box guys if you are liking these videos yes or no or if you guys prefer when i used to do most of the shout out and take more questions oh However, I am going to be doing some some videos where I'm just going to do just taking your questions because I know you guys need answers also. All right, guys. So my time is up and that is my show today. Let me do a few names and basically the regular names are there. Let me see. Um, we have um said a f s h a n test something for dry skin please if you have dry skin a quick thing that you could do when you get when you wash your face do not completely dry your face what you need to do is just pat dry leave it a little damp and then you apply a facial serum or a facial moisturizer or a good oil a good oil dry skin you're going to use heavier oils such as olive oil you could use a little coconut oil on your skin now if you do not want to use oil and your skin and you want to go buy something store-bought make sure to look for moisturizing 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 if it don't said to moisturize then you don't need it you need to have a lot of moisture on your skin however you need light all right you do it's not gonna be clogging all that pores but olive oil um coconut oil and if you're in your 30s upward try to use some carrot oil in the mix or you can mix all three together i'm going to make a wonderful combination of oil for dry skin because i tend to do for just normal skin most time so i'll make an oil for dry skin and i'll post it very very soon and it's going to be good so i hope that you will stick around for it all right my time is up and um delhi d-e-l-i-e -E boo chichi you need another hour i know but <laughs> i know i need another hour but for those people that gonna watch the watch the show after then it would be too long so i gotta go guys i see nobody's moving but my time is up i love you guys and go and try some think about what age you are what you need to do for your skin go on my channel and search for something that is suitable for your skin at your age and play around with stuff and treat yourself and have a really wonderful week love yourself take care of you because nobody's gonna do it for you i love you guys and i'll see you next week same place same time um, for another in our series, Sunday Chit Chat with Chichi Beauty. If you recently joined the chat and you have not yet subscribed, look below, you're going to see the word subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. At the side, there's a little bell. All my subscribers, click on the bell so that each time I upload a video, you will get a notification right away. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Go and watch the video I post this morning. It's actually a very good video also. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful week, everyone.